Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something very different. We're going to be pouring on these canvas shoes. Um, and I, instead of my regular Floetrol, I've mixed GAC 900 with the paints, which is a uh, fabric painting medium specifically. Um, and I'm going to do one of these and then my daughter is going to do the other one. So, I am going to do this as a dirty pour. And this is just a total experiment. I'm not expecting these to like come out super awesome or anything. Um, and I don't know that I even have enough paint to fully cover the shoes. But we're just going to use what we got and go from there. Okay, and then some green. Alright, so this is what I'm going to use, and then my daughter can use the rest. So let's go ahead and move those out of the way. Alright, and I did tape some of this off here, and I taped off around the bottoms. Not like super duper well, though. <laughs> um, so, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and pour around the top. And just kind of do my best here. And do my best to not pour in the shoe. So far, not bad actually. A lot better than I thought. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I need to move that away. Like I said, I don't think I have enough paint here mixed to cover the entire shoe, which is okay with me. So I'm just going to kind of cover as much as I can, just because I wanted to just simply experiment with how this would even work at all. Okay. Now I liked it better going this way. I'm going to run that off in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I'm not like super fond of my colors. <laughs> but like I said, experiment. Just an experiment for this, this time. Um, I'm going to actually spread some of this out. Yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, you got to put on your gloves, babe. Right there. Gloves right there for you. So... Yeah, I'm going to spread some of this out here, just so I get a little bit more of the shoes covered. See, personally, I would put more black. This is like way too white and light for me. I like, I prefer darker, more contrast. Sierra, you ready? Okay, yeah, we can actually get the whole shoe covered with this. Why not? All right, go ahead and mix your cup, babe. Okay, good. I'm going to pause the video while she mixes her paint because she takes quite a long time. Okay, so she has her paint poured, uh, but while she was doing that, I got an idea, which you can see I did with the blue, which was to kind of just take a little bit of leftover paint and kind of splatter it. Um, yeah, thought why not? That way we get a little more crazy design here so and just do this with the black oh 
There we go. All right. And then she can go ahead. Yep. Hold on one second, babe. And then she can go ahead and do hers. So let me get that ready. Let's put this right in the middle. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Go for it. Take too fast, honey. Okay. Yeah, you're not even going to make it all the way around the shoe. This is hard. Yeah. Well, that's why I asked you to watch me did how I did it. But that's so cool. Oops. That's okay. I touched your shoe. Don't worry about it. Okay, babe, you're not. Let me help you. I'm kind of not even getting the paint off. It's okay. I like it. So, go ahead and move it around a little bit. Can we take that paint? No. Ah. It looks cool. Can we put a canvas there and stamp it? I don't know. How about we finish what we're doing here? And then we'll talk about it. So I'm just going to help you kind of cover a little bit more of this with the rest of this paint. Bingo. I like this pattern though here. I'm going to tilt this a little bit, babe. Yeah. All right. So I don't want to make this into like an hour long video. So we're going to just play around with this a bit and then we'll come back and we'll do a bit of a close up. Um, and then we'll also come back when it's dry. So we'll be right back. All right. And we're back. So we played around with this quite a bit more. We discovered that by blowing on it, we could make it look cooler. So we did that a whole bunch. And we'll go in for a close up here. Now, obviously, the tape is still on here. So we'll see, still have to see how it looks when we take the tape off. Um, but yeah, kind of a, a bit of a tie-dye effect. My daughter's is, I think, definitely better than mine. Uh, yeah. So there we go. And like I said, when it's dry, I'll come back and um, show you how it looks. And hopefully I can even have someone model them for you. Because I want to see how they actually, how the paint actually works on there. You know, if it makes the shoes like super stiff or if it's still pretty flexible and whatnot. So I just have to find a person who uh, has this size shoe because this is not my size shoe. They were sold out of my size. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Never mind. We'll see you back here in a few days. So these are the shoes dry. They came out pretty cool. I think they're pretty flexible. Hold on. <laughs> so this is Kat. She's my shoe model. So how do you like the shoes? Are they comfortable? They are actually very comfortable and very flexible and I like sliding around in them. Awesome. <laughs> okay, good. So, like I said, success. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>